Welcome to Novel Gas Notation, our third in the series of How to Make Your Life Easier. So I know at this point you're thinking to yourself, Ms. Bowers, thank you for teaching me orbital diagrams, that's way easier than drawing pictures. And thank you for teaching me electron configuration, because that's even easier than orbital diagram. But is there anything even easier than that? Yes, there is. Here's how it works. Let's take something small. Let's talk about sulfur. Okay, sulfur, here's its orbital diagrams, here's its um, electron configuration. We are going to use noble gases to abbreviate the inner portion of the electrons so that all we're going to be writing are the valence shell. For example, the noble gas that comes before sulfur is neon. So all these, if you don't remember, these are your noble gases. Okay? Neon has 10 electrons. Let's draw out neon. Neon also starts 1s because they always start 1s. And it has two electrons in 2s, and then it has two electrons in 2p. I'm sorry, it has six electrons in 2p. Or we could talk about its electron configuration. Neon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Notice that the first part of sulfur is identical to the first part of neon in both the orbital diagrams and in the electron configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to use neon to stand for, we're going to use the symbol for neon to stand for all of this. So we're just going to say, in brackets, N-E. Okay? So that means that this is right here. Then all we have to do are the valence electrons after neon. So sulfur can be thought of as the element neon plus 3s and 3p. And that's it. That's all I have to do for sulfur. And so over here, sulfur is, again, neon. Neon stands for all of this. And then it's just 3s2, 2p4. So this allows us to focus on just the valence electrons, which, when we get into talking about chemical reactions and chemical bonding, those electrons we care about anyway. So this tells us that sulfur has six valence electrons, which makes sense because it's in family 6A, and um, two of those electrons are in 3S, and four of those electrons are in 3P. So that is the noble gas notation. And let me show you how it shortens up everything on the periodic table. What you do is you find the noble gas. You don't have to use neon every time. You use whatever noble gas comes before the element you're looking for. So let's say we're doing molybdenum. Molybdenum's here. Its previous noble gas, its backtracks, so molybdenum 42, is krypton. So instead of NE in brackets, we're going to have krypton in brackets. So molybdenum would be Kr. And so Kr is going to stand for everything up to 36 electrons. And so for, for krypton, that would include all these guys right here. If you don't believe me, work it out for yourself. But all these guys would be the orbital diagrams for krypton. So then all we have to do is whatever's left over. What are our valence electrons after that? So molybdenum has 5s and 4d. So that would be molybdenum in double gas rotation. And up here, it would be Kr, 5s2, 4d, 4. So it doesn't matter how big the element is, because all elements have a noble gas before them. So you can just back up to that noble gas, and then add whatever comes after that. Now, uh, I apologize, I misspoke when I said these are the valence electrons. In the case of sulfur, those are the valence electrons. But in, in molybdenum, once you start hitting these 4D, anything in the D, these are not all the valence electrons. Valence electrons, remember, are in the highest energy level number. So therefore, the valence electrons of molybdenum are just these guys right here. Because that is the highest energy. Energy level 5 is its highest. These guys are at energy level 4. They're not the valence electrons. So, uh, so molybdenum has two valence electrons. And that's just a weird thing that happens when you're in the transition metals, which is why we didn't write common charges for those transition metal bags, because they do strange things. All of these guys in the S and P block, those are representative elements, and so their valence electron is equal to whatever comes after the noble gas, because the, those are all in the same energy level, energy level 3. 
So that's how you do null gas notation. It is the shortest. So don't say, oh, is there anything even easier? No. Okay, this is the easiest thing you can get. It's hard to get any easier than that. 